Hey guys, welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon. When they left off, uh, just let out Final Fantasy. Uh, today, the new game platform, the Super TES by Ninvento, has been released. Alright, maybe we'll make some games for that. $5.3 million in the bank. We got another proposition, let's decrypt that. There's a very special offer. Our agents have recently managed to gain some critical systems of one of your competitors. If you want to play war games, then transfer 77,000 to the enclosed location and we'll initiate sabotage. Agent Blowfish. Mm. Now, we're a good company. We are not going to play war games with our companies. We're going to do this fair and square. And we are just going to monopolize the gaming industry, so we're going to decline that. Bastards trying to corrupt us. Alright, so. Research. Anything new? Um... None of that. Alright, so let's make a new game. Maybe we should do some contract work. Nah, we got lots of money, there's no need to. Alright, develop a new game. Hmm, let's make this... Actually, let's research some new topics, because we've been doing the same stuff over and over again. Horror, start research. I don't really want to do a horror game, but maybe I will. But what you want to do is just keep researching random crap so that uh, other stuff will come out and you can start researching those as well. So research, new topic, hospital, no. Let's research a racing game. See what we'll get out of this. And also, this will be good. We can make a racing game once we get um, a steering wheel application. Make more lifelike. All right, Final Fantasy, now off the market. It sold 52,013 units, generating $364,126 in sales. That game was a flop, not even close to our other games, which got us millions. But, you know, it was just a quick little thing to... Oh, and would you look at that? Just by researching that, we got a steering wheel. Um, all right, new topic. Wild West, no, none of that. Should we research the steering wheel? I guess we will, because we're rolling in money. There's no hurry to do anything. And I think soon we should move up to our next office, maybe hire some employees. Alright. Slide Men Inc. Been working on this for seven years, three months, three weeks. Alright, let's develop our new game. We will make another sci-fi game. We're going to make a sci-fi sci-fi adventure game for hmm should we make a get a license for the super TES I think so it's doing pretty well in the market so let's do that super TES Slimatic 2.5 it's a sci-fi adventure we're gonna make it for everyone it's gonna be an everyone game what should a sci-fi adventure be called? A sci-fi adventure. Let's call this... Um, Trek of the Stars. Definitely not rearranging the words of anything there. Alright. 3D graphics v1. It's an adventure game, so a little bit of stories and quests. Everything else seems good. Okay. Phil, pumping out ideas. The media is abuzz with the latest news from this year's entertainment conference. In a surprise announcement, Vony, a company known for general electronics, has presented a prototype called the Play System. <coughs> PlayStation! Apparently, Vony has collaborated with Invento, creators of the beloved and successful TES and Super TES consoles, to develop what is basically a Super TES with a CD drive. This will be the world's first console using a CD drive. Journalists around the world are baffled, as only one day after Vony and Invento jointly announced the play system at the entertainment conference, things have turned sour. Ninvento announced today that they'll cancel the project and instead seek to develop a new console with a different partner. Rumor has it that the distribution deal the company bleh, had worked out was unfavorable to Ninvento, handing over much 
over much of the control of Oni. It seems that it, this seems to be the end of the play system. Well, we know that to be false, and I'm pretty sure that actually did happen. Um, back in the day, pretty sure Nintendo and Boney did team up, and then they canceled the project, and Boney took it on themselves to do it. All right, everything seems good there. We got eight bugs. That's not good, Phil. You need to iron those out. Get to work. In two months, a TES will be taken off the market. Okay. Want to put any technology points in there? You know, help even out. Nope, I guess design and technology, alright. So three points apart, that's good. New combo, great combo, alright. Any levels up? Nope, we're close with to 3D graphics. V1 reaching level 3 now. Alright, congratulations. Hmm. Should we do it now? Yeah, let's do it now. I, I have a good feeling about this game. Alright, let's move up, see the new office, and ah! Oh, welcome to your new office. Now they have a bigger office, you can also hire staff and forge a world-class development team to make even better games. Okay. You may also train yourself and your staff to improve skills. Let's try this by completing a management course, which is required before you can hire your first employee. To get started, close this message, then click on your character to bring up the training menu. Alright, train, staff management, start training, 4.9 million in the bank, let's see the first reviews. Oh no, my feelings are wrong, it's a flop, it's not much fun at all. Phil, we're gonna need to make an amazing game to come back from this. Oh, threes across the board, what's the last one gonna be? A four, thank you all games, you thought it was at least okay. Let's see how much money- we're gonna lose fans, probably. Oh my god. Only five- yeah, we lost 3,000 fans. Uh, not 3,000 fans, what am I talking about? We lost 500 fans. 600 fans. TS no longer supported. Alright. Enough fooling around, we're gonna have to make an amazing game. Well done. We successfully did that. We're not gonna do this for a while, because employees cost a lot of money. Develop a new game. Mature. Topic. Let's go back to our roots, uh, fantasy, RPG, for PC, Slimatic 2.5, gonna call this, let's call this, fantasy RPG. Warcraft of the world. Oh, I can't fit it. Uh, World of Warcraft. I'm not copying. I don't know if any of you heard of this game, but it's a lie. It's a completely original game by Sly Death Manning. 3D graphics we won. All right. Stories and quests all the way up. Engine down. And then gameplay in the middle there. Alright. Dialogues. We want amazing dialogues. We want some good AI. Bringing the level design down a little bit. Alright. Come on, Phil. Pump out those ideas. We need to make a breakthrough new game. Alright. Bring graphics and sound down a little bit. Okay. We really want to focus on that world design. Alright. Only three bugs for this game. Trek of the Stars and now off the market. Oh, that's an embarrassment of sales. Not even a, I don't have the dignity to even read that out. Alright, 26, 22. Any new records? Nope. Then it levels up. Alright, 3D graphics V1 is now level 3. Phil Robertson almost level 4. Alright, we can research 3D Graphics V2. Something new to put in our engine. The first reviews came in. Oh, thank god. Alright, 9. Fantasy and RPG is a great combination. 8. Informed Gamer loved it. Game Hero thought we achieved a great balance, but 
Engineering and Technology and Design, and all games thought it was great, giving it a 9. Alright, how much money are we going to make off of this? Eh, 19,000 the first week, but still, we're coming back, we're coming back. Let's find some contracts. See if we can do that. Phil doesn't slack off, and we shouldn't. Might be able to do it. I'm not sure, actually. Maybe this was a mistake, and we'll lose money, but what's life without a little risk? And it looks like we were able to do it. Nice. Just got a free $23,000. Um. Click on him, research. Let's research 3D Graphics V2. Alright, that's done. Anything else we want to research? Um. Nope. Alright. Create custom engine. V2, level editor, steering wheel, gonna call it Slimatic, you guessed it, 3.5, uh, not 3.5, 3.0, and why do I always do that? Regular, there you go, create engine, 5 million dollars in the bank, so at least that did a lot better, alright. Look at that super TES. Just barely didn't tell that it's that. And if we make a groundbreaking game with the new engine we're about to make, we might look for some people to hire. Dear Slide Ethman Inc., we have followed your progress in recent years and would like to extend this formal invitation to participate in the biggest game convention on the planet, Games Games Games, also known as G3. Okay. By having your own company booth at G3, you can gain a lot of fans and hype for your games, and we think our audience would love to see you there. We will contact you yearly with booth options. Hope to see you at G3, the G3 committee. Alright. Oh, that reminds me, we keep forgetting to market. Alright, we need to do this from the next game. Stop scratching your head before I forget again. Um, I'm pretty sure... You get an invitation for G3 on the 5th month, 5th month, the first week. So, I would say we need to at least start development of a game right at that time. So that our game is like halfway through to almost done by the time G3 actually happens. And look at that, instead of 8,000 monthly uh, costs, it's 32,000. So that's why it costs so much now and it's not worth getting an employee as soon as you start. Alright, develop a new game, topic, let's make it a racing game, let's, a uh, racing simulation for the PC, Slimatic 3.0, take advantage of the steering wheel. Alright, we're gonna call this, uh, Gran, uh, Slismo. Yeah, yeah, Grand Slismo, that sounds nice. We're gonna make it for everyone. Next. V2 3D graphics. Great, great. Technology and a bug. What are you doing? Equip that. Alright, we want them people to do whatever they want with this. Um still keep some little cutscenes and a linear story, but oh. Alright, maybe we want more of that. Alright, gameplay all the way up, engine. Okay, and storage and quest. We want everything to stay in the 100% or above. Alright. And just side predictive, month 5, week 1. Uh, yes, we'll do a small booth and we will also market. Marketing can be very effective to reach more potential customers, but it can be very expensive too. It is best to experiment carefully with marketing to get a feel for what works best. Don't invest too much and remember that timing is important. Don't invest in your marketing after it's too early in development or too late. So yeah, I'd say right when it sits in the middle. It is also important to know that no matter how much money you pump into marketing, it will not make a bad game successful. To the contrary, it can even hurt too, 
market bad games too much as it can upset your uh, uh, existing fans and I can talk still. Alright, let's do 50,000 or just advertising magazines. And look at the hype, look at that, people just, oh, they can't wait for Grand Slismo to make themselves a level editor. Dialogues, not so much, level design all the way up there, and AI is still important for the CPU drivers. Okay. Got four hype. Ooh, seven bugs, what are you doing? Alright. We want some amazing graphics and sounds with this game. Bring that down a little bit. And of course, as soon as we start, you're scratching your head and we are just losing money by the month. Alright, G3. How many people are gonna visit? Oh, that's a lot of people. Oh, 46,653 people visited our tiny little booth. We didn't make top 100 booths. But once we gain more fans, I'm sure we will. Another proposition, let's decrypt that. It's a very special offer. Agents have recently managed to borrow some research information. We're going to decline that. I don't want to pay 36000 for something that's going to end up probably most likely being crappy again. And we have 45... Jeez, oh, it just keeps growing thanks to G3. Look how much hype is getting to, into this game. And we're exactly even. Oh, not anymore. Maybe if we get one more design. All right, we can research actual sequels now. Any any design? You want to put any design in there? And there we go. 26, 26 with a hype of 54. This is going to be amazing. New record in technology. It's a new topping and a new combo, and it's a great combo. Engine level four, gameplay level four, level design level four, world design level four, and Phil Robertson is now level four. He's becoming a man. He's a young adult. We can research multiplayer, character progression, and a day and night cycle. Oh, we're gonna be able to do so much. First reviews came in, and it's um, it's an okay game. You know, got an it was a nice experience. That's how I generally feel about racing games. They're not they're not that good. They're they're good if you're bored, but it's not something that I'd continuously play. All right, Game Hero loved it, and all games played it for days. All right, how much money are we gonna make? 22,000 sales in the first week, alright. Find contract work while we're waiting. Let's do that. And maybe we'll actually train Phil. Sixty-eight research points, alright. Train you. If you want to create hit games and a world-class team, then training is important. But the best results, train your staff regularly, but don't overwhelm them with too many sessions at once. There are different training options available. Some options are better to increase certain st skills than others. Experimenting is the best way to figure out which training options fit your plans. It is useful to have a mix of specialists or all-rounders in your team, but aim to have at least one design specialist and one technology specialist. Alright, let's make Phil a design specialist, so game design for pirate, I think that's a design thing. Let's see. Yep, design and technology. Play system came out. The new play system comes with a CD ROM drive and a 32 bit processor. That's big for this time. It is wholly owned by Vony. Industry professionals say that this might be the beginning of a new generation of consoles. Ninvento declined to comment the place this one to the market next month. Alright. Oh, plus five. Oh, look at all that. Alright, we're back to five million again. It's a lot easier to get better games when you're in the garage because the game also updates itself, I think, where once you go into a big office, people expect more from you. When you're working in a garage, people don't expect that much from you. Alright, 82, 266 units, 575, 897. Okay. Um, is there anything we can research? We can research sequels. Day and night cycle, that's important. 
even though I hate night, if a game didn't have day and night cycles for me, I'd, I'd lose my mind. Why isn't it night time in this game? Ah! Uh, Alright. Research. Hmm, should we research sequels? Character progression? I think character progression is a big thing. For an RPG, let's do that. We're gonna make a hit game. Gonna throw all of our money into a new game engine, and hopefully we're just gonna make millions off of it. Alright. Research again. Multiplayer. Let's do sequels. Oh, I don't have enough research points. Alright, can't even do anything. Alright. Is it worth it to make another engine? Character progression, day and night cycle. 350,000k. I guess so, let's do it. This might be a big mistake, I'm not sure. Actually, yeah, it might be a big mistake. Let's make another game first. I, I don't want to go into the hole this quickly. Alright, we'll make a medieval game. It's going to be a medieval strategy game for the PC. Slimatic 3.0. It's going to be mature. It's going to be called... Um, Let's see, a medieval strategy game would be called... Hmm. Helmets with horns. Perfect. 3D graphics v2. Let's start this. Oh, helmets with horns. It's gonna get so many awesome reviews. Alright, I guess keep that where it was. We'll take out steering wheel, because who's gonna use a steering wheel to play a strategy game? So we can bring gameplay down a tad bit. Bring engine up. Okay. The hype going up. Alright, AI, very important. Dialogue's not so much, level design, still important, but not as much. Okay. There's a clear trend towards action games now. Ah, oh, and we're doing a strategy. I was thinking about doing action too, that's so unfortunate. Alright, let's market this game, 50,000. Keep that where it is. Actually, world design all the way up. We want a, a good good looking world for the strategy game. Alright, 17 hype. Let's iron out those bugs. And any last touches you want to make? Maybe get 30 design. Oh, alright, 26 technology. Any new records? Alright, two new records. New combo, great combo. I don't think... Oh, AI leveled up. Graphics leveled up. 3D graphics leveled up and sound leveled up. We can research AI companions and stereo sound. Ooh. Our games are gonna sound fantastic. Let's research that while we're doing this. Oh, I can't even afford that. Alright. Let's do some contract work. Oh, the reviews came in. Ooh, I, I see a lot of tens there. Love it. It's a nice experience. It's very good. And it's enjoyable. Alright, Helmets with Horns. It was not a flop. It was a sturdy game. Alright. Fine contract work. Let's do that. Get 24,000, and if we fail, we only lose 7,000, so it's fine. Put all that technology in there. Yeah, no, we're not doing it. Jesus, what was I getting myself into? Alright, 5 million in the bank, but we're about to lose 7,000 of that. I'm sorry, you, your deadline, too much. Alright. Hmm. 
develop a new game very quickly. For sure. Uh, military. Military simulation for the PC. Cymatic 3.0. We're going to call this the purple. Oh. No. Purple Heart. Like the like Medal of Honor, except Purple Heart. Another reward. Alright. 3D Graphics V2. I keep forgetting about that. Alright, let's just keep that where it is. Everything's good. Alright. Uh, yes, we will go to G3. Alright. Getting some hype in there. AI, not so much. Dialogue's not so much, but level design all the way in there. Let's market this as well. 50,000. Put that in magazines. 5.1 million. Man, we're just stuck in a loop right here. Just getting up to 5 million and then blowing it all. Alright, keep that the way it is. Come with horns off the market. Did okay. 113.254 units. Turning $792,750 in sales. And, let's see G3. How many people are going to visit us this time? I think we got 40 something last time. Oh! What we passed that? 53,699 people visited us. Alright, got a lot of hype, got a lot of design in there. Hopefully, we get some more technology, break a record. Alright, 32 design, 27 technology, just five apart. New records for both of them. Did not level up in anything. Alright, reviews came in. Oh! 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 Alright, nine. Military and simulation is a great combination. Oh. Oh. More, please. Come on. Ten! Yes! It was awesome! Alright. Ten. Alright, nine. Almost perfect. Alright, so... I think that gives us a 9.75, or maybe a 9.25. It's one of those. Let's check. Game history. Yeah, 9.25. Alright, didn't do awful. Not at all. Vayner Gear will be taken off the market in two months. 29,000.7. 29.7,000 in the first week. Alright, normalized again. Alright, starting to gain some money at least now. If you're not a fan of Sly Deathman Inc., now then chances are you'll be playing their latest hit, The Purple Heart. The game shrines of technical excellence. Clearly the developers know what they are doing. Rarely a game will captivate you as much as The Purple Heart, Gary White, gamers. I know, right? I mean, The Purple Heart, it's just amazing. Alright. Any contract work that we can do? Nope. Let's train you again. Don't repeat yourself. Let's see what that does. I think that does speed. Yep, speed. We want to make fill very fast. Vanny gear is no longer supported. Oh, there was a dip there and then it rose right back up. Proposition. Jeez, these guys. And no, we're not sabotaging. Especially for that amount of money. Are we gonna make it to six million? Oh, we're not gonna make it. Got us one, over one million dollars though. Develop a new game. Actually, no. Is there any research we can do? Let's re- oh, we can't. Alright, let's do a contract that I'm almost positive we cannot do. 
maybe we can do that, but I'm doing this for the research points. I don't care if we lose that money, I'm willing to sacrifice it. We just need two research points. Come on. There we go. Alright. In my opinion, that was successful. And I think we actually did it. Alright, nice. 28,000. Alright. Now let's research stereo sound. We want our games to sound fantastic. And I think that might be a good place to end it here, folks. So, thank you for watching. Make sure to come back next time when we conquer the gaming industry. But for now, I will see you next time. Bye.